limited in terms of draft that they're always going for that. And the other big component that I really look at for Secret is the Puppy Enigma. These Enigma has been fantastically successful this whole tournament. Uh, they were probably the team to use it the most along with EG coming into the event and in the group mm. stage. So if you're able to either take away that tempo controller or you know they're going to go for one and then you're able to punish it, I think that's where you can get it edges liquid. I think Secret have been a little one-dimensional in that regard. So what I would love to see is for them to mix it up here or there. Maybe not always going for the same style where it's very split push focused. I mean, as you mentioned, kind of like old Cloud9-esque with maybe better execution in the late game. Uh, so to me, that's the, probably the pressure point for them. Uh, I think Liquid is overall a bit more well-rounded. We're going to find out uh, what they're actually going to do in the draft, because we're in the draft of the first game of this best of three gods. What are your points that we have to look out for here when looking at these two teams go at each other? Um, I think for Team Secret, it's, I mean, we kind of talked about how they like play this very kind of split push heavy. I think it's going to be finding the right balance as far as having like a greedy jungler and kind of taking that approach versus contesting or having your jungle contest. So here's like Bounty Hunter, Mirana, they come into play as far as here's that can contest the jungle, apply pressure on mid lane, uh, Tusk kind of in the same boat. And then you have the Enigma, the Chen, which have been banned out here, something that Liquid decide they just don't want to have to deal with against Team Secret. Five seconds. Yeah, we have um, <clears throat> not two surprising bans, I would imagine. Chen, Enigma. Yeah. Kind of blocking the uh, blocking Poppy there, but it makes sense. What do we want to see Poppy on in instead? Enchantress is still in the pool. He can play Enchantress. I don't think they favor it quite as much. I don't think his hero is too... Like, once you don't, aren't getting the junglers, his hero becomes less like the key to secret. I think more, more now it becomes about what hero you're going to put for Wii, for Misery. Do you go for something like the OD, which has been very successful with them? The OD Drow Ranger we saw. Mm -hmm. um, and just having these kind of... these strategies for Team Secret. I think the key for Secret here will be how do they secure their early game? Because how how do they get to a point where you know Envy can play his typical hard carries yeah. and 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 be able to transition into that late game? And I mean, Liquid is going to run at you with the timing. Look at the the heroes they're picking. Right. They're picking Puck, Gyrocopter, Ursa, Nature's Prophet, Invoker. These are heroes that come online relatively early, and they like to seize control of the game once they have their key items and levels. So uh, they go not for the Dark Seer here. Both teams really trying to hide their hand as far as the overall game plan through phase one and it will be liquid that takes the invoker i feel like this dark seer pick is very bullet influenced mm -hmm. um I, th I think he values the hero a lot uh so just you think they're denying it from liquid because it's secret who picked it right 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 i think it's I, and I think because Theban and, and Sam are on the same team, I, I would imagine Theban also knows what Sam values. Um, and it's 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 probably like a, sh a shared mindset between the two that, you know, Darkseer creates a lot of space. He creates, or not so much space, but he requires a lot of te attention in the offline. You put him down there and, you know, you, you need somebody to zone him out. Or, or it also limits gonna... what options you can play for your safe lane farmer too, because there's some right. safe lane heroes you just don't want to pick and play against Darkseer. How much focus do you feel like both of these teams have in terms of team fight? Obviously, we had a Tidehunter Enigma kind of combination going on for Team Secret mostly. It's generally very heavy for both teams, I would say. Uh, uh, Liquid, again, looking at a lot of their key heroes Gyrocopter, Invoker, Nature's Prophet, Tusk, like, all, OD, all of these heroes excel in team fights. They've run the Tidehunter a decent amount. Um, I would say it's generally less prioritized for Secret unless they get the Enigma, at which point your team fight's always going to be really good. Uh, so, more likely, I think Liquid's the team that's going to be looking for the team fight. But with that said, Secret have gone into Dark here, so they have the option. Sven's still out there. It's a carry that these teams haven't really run as much, but has been extremely successful throughout the tournament. So Especially in combination with Darkseer. Yeah, so I wouldn't be surprised if Secret are considering it at this stage. Bounty Hunter banned from Liquid, yeah. so wanting to protect the Invoker mid. And just a great here to pair with Darkseer and to just cause all kinds of problems, so. It's a Could great pilot a... hero. Yeah. 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 Could it be a setup also for perhaps them going a little bit greedier and putting something in the jungle? I say something because we have seen also they, some unorthodox they have done jungle that. picks. They've done like Iron Talon Night Stalker for yes. Puppy before, uh, so if they want to do that, that's an option. Uh, I mean, Darkseer obviously can jungle quite early as well. Uh, don't expect he'll start there though. Oh, I mean the jungler for Liquid, for liquid as well. Yeah. Liquid don't do that quite as much unless, like for Kuro, it's like he's playing the Chen or something. I, what they do do is have mind control fall back with the Iron Talon and then just go go kind of play that offlane jungling role when he gets zoned out of his lane, though. I think the Phoenix ban here out of Secret is really interesting. Um, it's great against high ground defense. Uh, 
Dude. Maybe Secret is planning on picking, you know, a hero with high HP to, Might be to the lone, siege. Could be a lone druid pick still. Uh, generally, they've run it for misery in the offlane, which would mean mm. someone else has to play the Darkseer. But if they want to run Darkseer exactly. more greedily... Pull out the safe lane farming Darkseer, a la e home. <laughs> yeah. That... Or, <laughs> I'm not, I'm or super, disaster. super greedy jungle Darkseer. Yeah. Ooh, it is a doom. You don't see it, but I do. Actually, LD sees it too, but I heard it. It says doom. Sheever, you're so good at predicting drafts. Uh, yeah, I give away why we I heard it, We don't need winter though, anyway. So. <laughs> uh, but it is going to be a doom hero, so uh, a doom pick, rather. Is that... Yeah. What doom is this? He's, he's a great hero to put Ion Shell on. Envy so. used to love playing this hero. He ran a lot in the safe lane, but... It seems more like typically the full position role. Like, I, I, I think, think it's the puppy I hero. I think this is probably a puppy hero. I would be really surprised if they picked an Envy Doom this yes. early. No. I, I wouldn't be surprised. With, and with Dark Suit too. Right, it doesn't right. seem like a good good partner. They could pick it now and be leaving it open. That's the one way where maybe Envy ends up playing it. Uh, we saw yesterday a team going for Dark Seer as the four position. <laughs> Yeah, so either of them can yes. jungle. That's the nice thing, is you really don't know the full Wasn't that also that was, a disaster? It, it lost, <laughs> yes, it I was. I don't know if it was necessarily the plan as well. But, but technically it's an the option. EGM darks here. I mean, you can also have the Doom start in the jungle, and then you basically turn it into a dual lane, you throw an Iron Shell on both, and you just run it there safely. And it's, yeah. it's pretty scary if you're squishy, so... Liquid yet to reveal their likely safe lane hero. So we got Liquid, they picked up a Beastmaster. That means a lot of vision inbound for them. How is Team Secret going to do something about it? Can they, with the uh, picks still available and the rolls that they still need, do something about that? I'm if worried about Roshan here, because Secret don't have much Rosh potential right now, but they are dire. They are made in there. If yeah, that's an Envy hero. Doom, they could do Puppy Night Stalker again. They did that against us to, to provide vision, but... That just sounds like... Sounds melee heavy. Way to yeah. run the Doom. Well, this is... Is it an this a, Ember game? This is a they really interesting secret Ember. draft. I... If, they, if you showed me these three heroes at the beginning, I wouldn't have guessed that this was Team Secret. Yeah, I mean, even the Darkseer pick, like you mentioned, it's not... It's not their bread and butter. Going into this match, I would have said more likely there they take the lone druid. Oh. All right, what's happening? This is it's uh, a throwback. Are we are yeah. we using the previous patch here? Seems a little bit. They picked uh, they picked Wind Ranger once oh, earlier this tournament, and they did win that game. Yeah. So yeah. definitely either Jungle Doom or Darkseer. More likely Doom. The Wee Ranger no. likely mid. Yep. It's like an alright matchup versus Invoker typically. Are they gonna go for the Envy Ember? Are we going full uh, six point eight five here? Uh, I mean, you mentioned Roche and that, like, Wind Ranger, Ember, just uh, zero Roche taking potential. When they would do this strategy, it was normally with a Slardar, uh, or maybe a Magnus, which gives them a lot more physical damage. I like the Sven a lot more than an Ember this game, still. How about a Drow Ranger? Oh, of course. I don't think you'll see a Drow out of either team at this point. Um, definitely not for Secret. I don't think they have enough. Um... A Wind Ranger alone not enough? Drow feels risky no, for Secret because so. Liquid have really good catch and burst and there's not much in the way of you, saves. You can you can get on the Drow with both the Tusk and the BM. Like um, Punch, Snowball, Roar. Right. The... I don't think Team Secret is, like when you pick a Drow you're, you're really looking to snowball your lanes in your advantage in, in laning phase. How about like Ursa or even Lycan here for Secret? Good Roche potential, more physical damage, goes well with the Darkseer for the Ursa especially. Um, they have a lot of control for it though. That's possible. I, I think I don't think Secret really knows for sure yet, um, and they want to they wanted to see that last pick out of Liquid. Yeah. So this is a great safe lane carry against the the Darkseer, if he does end up going to the off lane, which I imagine is what Liquid's expect right now. Also good versus Doom, a lot of kill potential there. So last picks time. What do you feel like the teams are lacking right now? Some disabled, some team fight perhaps. I mean, team fight on Team Liquid looks pretty, pretty good. Compared They're... to Team Secret, Secret just needs an envy hero. Yeah. They look pretty r well rounded so far. Mm -hmm. They've got some catch, some wave clear. So what are we looking at here? Liquid needs probably the Kuroki hero. So it should be a Jerax Tusk, right. Rubik. Good with the Gyro versus Darkseer. Doom's a great and Lion spells are all great to steal. Oh, Secret are gonna ban it. it out. Secret also no, thought Rubik. I think Rubik would have been ideal there for Liquid, yeah. and it's also like a Kuro classic. Yeah. So yeah, about, just some kind of set with the Gyro. So how about uh, Secret? What are they? I think. What's the Envy hero? I think they're likely to pick Spectre personally. Spectre. It's just a team fight here. It doesn't yeah. have to do amazing in lane. Once you just get Haunt up, it you put an Iron Shell on the, the Spectre too. It just works really well. They're gonna have to go first. So let's say they pick Spectre. Can Liquid go aggressive try lane? They have Gyro Tusk already. Beastmaster does okay against Darkseer one v one. I don't think Liquid would want to. It's not. And they could have something they came in planning to do. 
They still ban out the Drow Ranger. Yeah. So maybe slightly worried that I mean, that's a pretty weak tri lane, though, right? Yeah. It's like Lion Spectre with Doom in the jungle. I guess that, that, maybe that, he runs that is really weak. Here. Uh, and well, I think that would get need... punished by Beastmaster very heavily. I don't know, but th that is Secret's bread and butter. Uh, about... They don't mind Spectre having a slightly poor lane. Em Envy's co yeah, Envy's caught back. Caught back I would before. like to see Liquid a, a pressure it though. I, I I think if they're gonna yeah. pick Spectre like that when they already have a greedy jungle Doom that you you don't just want to well, trade farm. The Doom with them. he starts off greedy, but I feel like once you get level three four you just kind of ro ro rotate with the line to the off lane. You put an Iron Shell, a Surge on the Doom, he runs in with Scorch Earth, and you can apply a lot of pressure with the Doom, just not at the very start. All right, we got it, guys. All right. It is the Envy Spectre. Is an Enchantress Greed Beastmaster with a lane e an option e. for Team Liquid? What? Enchantress Beans Beastmaster on the off lane, go Gyro, Tusk, Safe lane, Invoker mid? Or is I, that... I, I think... That would not be bad. <laughs> what you could do as Liquid is, you could run... Maybe Gyro, Tusk, an aggressive dual lane, have the Beastmaster jungle. And then just go... Invoker mid, and, and then... Way, put the Iron Talon Beastmaster jungle. Then who's your... Self-sustaining. I, I think, I think it, it really depends on the approach Liquid has here, what their philosophy is. Do they want to go all in on, and, and really punish Team Secret, or do they feel like they can't here, and they have to sort of, um, you know, give them a cushion, give themselves a cushion for the late game and, and pick something greedier. The other thing that Liquid can do, rather than pressure the Spectre, is they can just try to punish the Windranger mid, because if you get a good shards with the Invoker going Quas Exhort, that's a very likely kill. And Secret don't have the best save. So I think regardless of what this pick is, they, they will be applying a pressure, it's just a question of where they do it. And probably they also use some of this time to right. already discuss their American game plan. Be Crystal Maiden. Crystal Maiden? Yep. And CM's a losing pick. The hero's not good. He did win this <laughs> morning. Know. We won with it. Okay. It oh, is all right. So it... it is something greedier. So I imagine that will will be a four position Beastmaster. Uh, Off lane we'll... Legion. I like it. Oh no! Off uh, jungle legion. Jungle legion. Okay. So this is a this is a new look out of out of liquid. Well, tell us what is going to happen this game. What do we look forward to seeing? What do we what timings do the teams need to hit? My eyes are entirely on Jerex. I the the man is sensational on Tusk, just like his Zer spirit. Uh, I think he's the key for liquid here. Can easily. Set Set up Sunstrike kills around the map, and then later on Mind Control can participate. Uh, I I favor Liquid a bit here overall, but it does come down to the Tusk play, so I'm going to say Liquid for this one. I think Secret have a really good lane. Like, Darkseid, like, what actually does well against the Darkseid lane? Like, yeah, Gyro is the carry that can match up against Darkseid when you have a support with you. And what is that support really here? The Tusk, Tusk is going to have to roam. Offers a little, but... He's got to roam. I think Secret's lanes are really... Seconds remaining. ...really strong. Even if Spectic does get pressured, you just catch up with Horn. I... So you pay for secret. We have yeah. a... Overall. Yeah. We have a game. It is time for game one of Team Liquid versus Team Secret in our winner's bracket finals. Odie Pixel and Draskull, take it away. Indeed, thank you very much. And here we go. Liquid versus Secret. This is game one here of this best of three winner bracket final. I'm Odie Pixel, I'm here with Draskull. Andy, we've seen the drafts. We are seeing... The Legion Commander, potentially jungle role here from Kuroki. Are you loving it as much as you love it in your pups? Dude, that Legion is one of my favorite heroes, so I I try not to fanboy too much, but as Kuro is playing possibly my top three favorite heroes, I kind of have to think oh, like what in the better draft. The team. crowd's going to love this one. Oh, here comes the oh, 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 Envy. Fine. Just oh, walk I, it off, no big deal. Walk it off, Envy New. Envy New. He was on top of it. Yeah, but I, I do want to talk a little bit about the Legion pick because it's great for a strong dispel. Obviously, you can root things like Shackle. If you get hexed up or stunned by Impale from the Lion, you can just have a really solid way of saving like your Gyro. You can save, you know, your Invoker, and you also have Snowball on top of that. So I think it's more kind of just trying to dodge the Wind Ranger initiation and the Lion more than anything else. And I also feel like it is, like the panel was saying, a little bit on the greedy side, but as Secret had a, I think it was third or fourth pick Doom, not really surprised him to go for something that has a little bit more late game in mind. 
Oh. There we go. Puppy's fourth professional Doom game ever. Not played the hero since 2014, and what a time to bring it back in the winner bracket final here at the Shanghai Major. Let's see how it pans out. I mean, kind of look at the drafts overall. Do you feel anyone has a safer lineup here, considering the way that Liquid and Secret both play? I think that Liquids might be what you would consider safer, just because I think that it's going to be really hard for them to shut down Kuro, and I also think that, oh, my control could oh, be in a, a bit of trouble here. Yeah. No, he's all right. Just going to walk it off. But but this dual lane is actually very strong. Like, you get a couple of points into uh, press the attack, and then your overwhelming odds you can use to spam out. If you get caught by a boar, the Spectre is not really going to be able to do much in the way of saving you. And I really think that this lane from Liquid is going to pressure immensely. And then, of course, you have the mid matchup, which is Exert Invoker versus the Wind Ranger. This one is more, I think, based on the, the player more than anything else, maybe with a slight edge to the uh, the Invoker. But yeah, I do think that Liquid have the safer lineup. We'll see if that certainly pans out that way. And I mean, talking about the mid matchup, the fact that we are bringing in this Wind Ranger, uh, pretty much one of the very few players that still wish to do so in this current patch. You feel it's still got its strengths, the Wind Ranger? I think that it's one of those picks that you want to put somebody on when you know that they're just very skilled at the hero. Like, this was a go-to for Wii in, in previous patches. So, if you have somebody who's extremely confident, and I, I think that the hero still has some issues, the most glaring of which is only really... You're single target oriented, and most of the time you can't ask for a two-hero shackle. And not only that, but there are two methods of saves that we've already talked about on the side of Liquid, so I think that they have more than enough to deal with the hero. But I've also seen him go completely nuts and just land, like, two-hero shackle after two-hero shackle and just have a phenomenal game so this is kind of one of those picks that can be very explosive or just fall flat i'm talking about being explosive we are of course seeing the matuma man gyrocopter and he gotta be honest one of the better players of it in the scene we can expect to see him come out with rotations when he's six and be very active across the map at the same time keep up an insane amount of farm at the moment Lending up against mystery's darks here we'll see how much uh, how much the dogs you can really do against the, the safe lane here of Liquid, but I mean, looking at the Tusk and looking at the Gyro, the Tumor Man should have a final time in, t in terms of farming. There's not really going to be any pressure on the safe laner on the side of Liquid, which is obviously a good thing. But at the same time, this is not really the best of kill combos. The Tusk and the okay. Gyrocopter have to go up pretty high. He's here. coming yeah, in here with the toss, and oh, okay! Oh. That's why you picked this for Wind Ranger for the boy, and with that, Fade will pop the Fairy Fire, Puppy and we closing in, and they'll get first blood. The classic China Doom. My goodness, level two out of the jungle into the lane and we are Wind Ranger, says it all. The funny part about that was they actually stacked their stuns pretty heavily and it just didn't matter. Like that boulder hit roughly like what, a quarter of a second before the shackle came through. But in those situations you kind of have to take the shackle when you get it because it's the harder spell to hit. But still very nicely done from the side of Secret getting themselves on the board and we is already winning the lane even without the addition of the first blood so Secret off to a great start. Indeed, they'll be happy with this, this start here for Wii, and oh, we talked about the Man looking, of course, at MV. He's struggling a little bit more there in the top lane. And did, of course, have the presence of Kuroki and Legion up there earlier. And at the moment, Mind Control with the double boars. Just trying to do what he can to slow down MV's farm, but of course, MV Spectre, me and yourself, we saw it yesterday. He had an absolutely abysmal start against the Doom Darkseer lane, and then he just came back into it with, with an incredible performance. It was one of those really big team fights where the Spectre just lives through the engagement, and then you end up finishing an item. I think in that particular case, he got a Manta style from a one team fight, and then after that point, it was just really difficult for the enemy team to deal with him just due to the sheer damage output that you can have when you isolate heroes. But I think that he's going to have a little bit more of a hard time this game, specifically specifically because of what we're seeing right now is his support is very hard pressed to do anything like in this position as a lion you just don't have the damage output that you need you can throw out a couple of random spells maybe with a, a doom rotation oh, however he's, puffy. he's coming around here let's see what he could do he's got the crit passive we'll see if he can get the big hits in oh, got the infernal blade on Kuroki mind control they just fend off puffy stop the dive from happening We'll see if Puppy, what the plan is with this Doom. I mean, how, how do you expect to see Puppy play this Doom? Are we going to see him constantly go back and forth between lanes, or is he going to start to kind of cement himself somewhere? I think they're just going to be vying for control of the ruins that we're seeing here. Kuro, though. <laughs> one me, one me. Yeah, he's got the movement speed advantage. Oh, we... Uh, he's, he's still fine there with Jarex. He's, he's not done, and he's bottling up, and Jarex could be in trouble. Weeha. He's going to power shot it up. Jarex, 45 HP on the man. Nice He'll block. block the way off here with the shards. He's got three seconds. Is he going to go for it? He might go for oh, it. Oh, no. Uh, no, not quite. It's worth the shot, though. Yeah, literally. 
Well, still, forcing the Tusk to go back to base. A little bit of relief on the map for the time being. I think he's just going to suicide the neutrals, actually. Yeah, he's just going to die. So, laning phase, still slightly favoring Liquid. The Gyrocopter is getting total free farm, whereas Envy's being pressured a little bit more. And Fata has managed to bring himself back into the lane a little bit on the back of the rotations from Jarek. So even though he himself got sent back to base, he's helping to create a little bit of room for Fata to make sure that he has a decent start. And we've seen Fata in the past. Like This guy, in my opinion, is one of the most mechanically gifted mid players, maybe of all time, in Dota. So when I see him on Invoker, I can't help but be a little bit excited. I'm saying we've been true to a few Fata performances this, this land on the Invoker. And we'll see if this one does indeed scale up to be another. You've got Puppy at the moment, eyes on the mid lane. Maybe seeing what he can find. Still walking around there with the, the aura. So he's got that extra damage if he can chase someone down. And oh, Puppy versus Kuroki. Kuroki to the left, Puppy to the right. And now, Highlight High coming in as well, Kuroki. Oh, see how close. Oh, 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 Kuroki, you don't want to get that close. Now, Puppy turns up the heat. My control's coming in. You've got Jarax there as well. Puppy's just got a TP out straight in front of Kuroki. Look at the sharp block onto Pylodai. Jarax just closes in and Pylodai just sitting there. That's a lovely ravage, but he accepts his fate. Four heroes and Liquid just beating down on Pylodai. And that will be the kill credited to Vata. That was an extremely heavy top room commitment coming in there from Liquid, but not only did they get the rune, they get the support kill. In that time, Envy's going to also be hard-pressed to find any CS in the situation. And Can we just talk about the fact that this Gyrocopter has 25 denies right now? Oh, and he might, he might have himself a kill as well. He's going to lay down the homing missile, start to chase down. We has got the cooldown, and he's going to go for it. We are. The slow's going to catch him. Envy comes in. The shackle won't latch as we try to... Oh! Fata's there with the Sunstrike, finishes off the Superman's job, and now the Superman's going to try and get himself out. Except from Pilot Eye, Jarek's trying to save him with the shards. Isn't going to be enough though, MB sticking around after haunting in. We'll get the return kill onto the Gyro. So, a fairly even trade there really at the end of the day. Uh, maybe, yeah, I, I don't even know if you can say one one team got the advantage there. Maybe Liquid in the sense that I think the mid matchup is a little bit more important in this particular game, given what heroes each team has. But still, a very, very close early game. Come on, puppy. Let's go for this one. The ball slow. He's doing a little bit, not quite enough. He's got the score tee, and now with the focus by a mind control falling incredibly low. He's going to be fine, and now man will be there. Maybe seeing yeah, if they can counter initiate it. Indeed, the go time could be very soon. Puppy, no scorched earth. Jarax up at the top lane as well, level three. Let's see what Matuma Man can find here. He goes with the wraparound, eyeing up Puppy. The missile will get laid down, and Puppy is going to try for the TP out, but the Rocket Barrage has more than enough damage to bring down the Doom. Liquid find themselves the kill there, and they'll also pick themselves up a tier one on this top lane. I think we have a really good showing of why so many teams ban Gyrocopter against this team. Matuma Man just rotates the second. He doesn't even wait for seven, he just goes at level six. He has call down, he knows that they want to try to get map control away from that Spectre, apply as much pressure is humanly possible to prevent Secret from hitting that really good mid-game stride. And as the panel was saying, Secret don't even have the greatest Roche team. So a lot that we've been seeing at Shanghai is teams pick at least one hero who can secure Roche in. So whether it be like Ursa, sometimes it's been Sven, just something to allow them to get that Aegis advantage and be able to pressure. But Secret, they have the Wind Ranger, which is all right. But given the way that Liquid are controlling the early game, they might be the ones to secure the Roche first. <laughs> Puppy just backing off and clearing up the camps. Love to try and find his level six at the same time. Pi was giving a bit of space in the mid to start to to level up the lion. And mid lane still far to top of the net worth 3.5k here on the invoker. And now they'll start to get a bit of pressure going in on this mid lane. Space for Beastmaster up top and the Jax. Playing up around a little bit with Envy. Envy realizing the safest place at the moment for him to farm is down on that bottom lane. Maybe yeah. this TP though let's try and go a bit weak. Can he set up the shackle? Oh, yes, shackle. he does. Shackle on to two. The follow-up though, not quite there. Pilot, I couldn't get in range for a follow-up lockdown. Yeah, it's only level one, unfortunately, at the time that he threw it, so. If it was maybe level two or level three, I might have been able to get close enough, but not quite enough levels right now on Wii. And I mean, we're, we're talking about like this mid matchup and how important it's been. It's Jarex getting dove here. He's got so oh, Indeed, an Envy. Oh, he's not going to quite get it for the time being. Jarex is going to go forward. In fact, Envy, he's just going to haunt straight out of this one. And he's got his eyes on the top lane where Pylai moving in onto Mind Control. The Sunstrike isn't going to catch the line. Mind Control goes for the road. He goes for the TP, but the wall from Misery is dropped. He's been Donald Trump. Horse! Oh, boy! Let's see if he can get away. Here comes the ball. 
No, I think he's okay. Yeah. Four not that fast. Sun strike in seven though. Uh, okay, he's easily he's invoked away. He's not going to try for that one, Piper. Uh, he should have kept moving the bird, I think. He had a bird in the trees up there that he could have given vision with. Maybe it would have been enough for Fatha to feel confident in throwing a Sunstrike, but... Bottom lane, Puppy. And that snowball in from Jarex, and here we go again. The aggression from the Timberman. They're looking to dive close to the tier 2 score chef. Not quite enough free gen to keep Puppy alive. And we will TP in with the reaction. Two heroes go! Oh! oh my god! As the AU fire always! Double kill for Misery is a perfect shackle shot for Wii, and they're gonna find Kuroki as well. The heal isn't enough. Three heroes down on Liquid. Weeha! He's in a bad So many two-man shackles this game, we're only seven minutes in. And this is why we saw a lot of teams in the past just ban that hero against Wii, because that's the kind of thing that you have to expect when you're up against his Wind Ranger, but really nice turnaround. Still have yet to see the level 6 on Puppy. He's level 4 in an 11 minute game. He's been making his way around the map quite a bit, but he is extremely far behind in terms of overall farm. I think if Secret want to feel comfortable taking the next couple of engagements, you got to secure Pi level 6. He needs Finger of Death. You're definitely going to need Doom available as well. And once Secret have that, I feel all oh, mad. Oh. The Forge Spirits. <laughs> the Forge Spirits. And there we go. Fight time for the boys on the side of Liquid. Jarex, Kuroki, Matsuma Man. We're backing up farther in the mid lane. Let's see if they can find an opening. Tusk will be the one to lead in. Roki uh, hasn't quite got level six, so no jewel here for the man, but they'll take a kill if they can find it. Pilo oh, guy with a ravage! On to three! Liquid, they'll still continue to move in, but Secret, more than aware now. What a stun. I mean, Pilo died. We saw some performances from the man when they went up against EG yesterday, Secret, and now he's bringing his A game once more against Liquid. I think he's probably been the best player on the team for quite a while in this tournament at least. Like he just, he doesn't really seem to have any bad moments, does he? It's just like every time we see him, he's always making a play, avoiding death, or, you know, giving vision for the team. It's just been a crazy performance out of him at Shanghai so far. He's just always in the right place at the right time. Bob. Yeah, he really is. Oh, and there Fata. we go. Counter smoke for a secret. They're going to jump straight back in onto Liquid and looking for Fata, but he gets the cold snap onto Puppy, the Forge Spirits as well. Holding secret back, they'll use the horn to try and close the gap up to someone. They'll get the vision to get the stun out to Matumba Man. Envy chasing forward, and now with Puppy looking for Kuroki. Matumba Man's going to try the cooldown. They're going to turn around and try to fight back into the Forge Spirits. Oh! That wall blizzard! Double kill for Envy. Matumba Man, he's going to get taken down as well with the wall loses. Just triple kill for Envy. Charlie talks about how strong some people such as Bulb rate the Darks here. We're seeing it here. Misery with the perfect wall in the center of the fight and everything from Secret was there to follow through. That is a terrifying combination. I believe the power shot actually hit on all four of them as well as soon as they got back forward. So extremely nice coordination coming out of Secret. And that's the kind of stuff you have to expect, I suppose, when you're going up against the old Wombo combo. But Liquid, that's going to set him back quite a bit. The only thing they can take away from that is, again, Secret don't have the best Roshan lineup, so they're not going to be able to take too much away. And they did end up taking down the Tier 2 in the top lane. So regardless of whether or not they lost a couple of heroes there, uh, they did get an objective, and they know that they have a little bit of time to recover. Talking about recovery, Spectre, EE, third on the net worth at the moment. He's 4 0 2. Had a bit of a trickier time at the start in terms of finding the last hits, but he's playing it safe, he's playing it smart, and uh, he's really coming back into this game, and, and we've seen how terrifying the MV Spectre can be. Sometimes for a secret themselves, but this time it's going to be Liquid that's scared of him. I do have a lot of tools in terms of teamfight. We're still waiting for level 6 on Jerax to get that extra disable. There is no uh, duel here on her. I believe this is a standard build actually when you play the support legion. You don't get duel until quite a bit later on. At least until you max the uh, press the attack and overwhelming odds. But Liquid going for a Roche here. They do have vision around the pit. It doesn't seem like secret. They might know about this, but it stands right now. They are killing it so fast. They've got one in five seconds secret, but it looks like they're just not in a position to... This is so nice for Liquid. Very nice indeed, Matumba man. He's, he's been in a fair few of these fights. He has died three times, but he's been doing what he can in terms of just keeping the pressure on, keeping the fights going. That last big fight, really, the first major blow to Liquid, the secret at the 10 for 4 in terms of kills. But still, Invoco keeping at the top. They're going to pop the horn here, MV. Looking to move in onto the bottom. They'll chase down Jerax. Jerax will took the shards back. Doesn't matter though, pass shot from We will find the kill. 
Looks like the rest of Liquid will be able to get themselves out of there, but again, Secret find themselves another pickoff, and pretty much every time the Horn comes off cooldown and be ready to fight. That's one of the nice things about Spectre, is I think that Secret abuse the vision that Haunt gives so well. Every time they see an opening, as soon as you pop Haunt, you know exactly where everybody is. It's like, oh yeah, we can go on this, we can search for it with an Ion Shell, we can throw out a dagger and make sure we get a kill, and hi, hi. the boars! Oh. I think he might be okay, or they they might ditch him. Ah, yeah, there we go, yeah. Hi, right. he'll be the sacrificial lamb here for Secret. Liquid clean it up. The Rod of Atos from Father there helping him get that one. The Necro Foot now being leveled up here for Mind Control. So they are going to have a decent amount of push, Liquid. As we've seen already, they've cleared out the top two in the towers in the, in the top lane. And mid lane and bottom lane now, lucky a tier one on the side of the map of Secret. Look at looks much. like they're going to keep pushing. The damage that Fata does to Lacrity on, it's for 300 because they got the Alpha <laughs> Wolf. And they also have obviously the full points into Exhort, or almost. He's one away from having it maxed out. They actually siege so quickly. And Jerks and Mind Control are going to look to join the rest of Liquid as they smoke up. But Timmerman, that's a lovely cooldown here onto three heroes. Puppy, he's just going to get blown up there by the Jaros ult. That was a zero commitment kill. It was like Cold Snap, Forge Spirits, with a call down, and then oh, a... Oh, my life die. He's coming towards the ward, but he'll pay with his life. Liquid rolling in. And Liquid making the most of these mistakes the Secret are making with their positioning. And they'll look to take a tier two here. And as you said, anytime they find a kill or two, Liquid, they'll be able to get the momentum going pretty heavily down these lanes. And uh, middle lane as well. Misery just drifting around a little bit. Not gonna go for any kill. Okay. Shackle. Oh, he's, he's, I don't think he can go for that one. It's a bit cheeky. They'll use the horn on Envy. Now it's gonna be the side of Secret jumping forward. Envy! Envy! Uh. Envy! <laughs> oh, no, the Forge Spirits! Hang on! Hang on! Envy! He's gonna be fine for the time being, but Tumaman actually gonna get left behind here. Puppy did drop a nice stream on Kuroki. Infernal Blade power shot coming across to the Tumaman. Misery's there to finish the deal. He's got the Aegis. He's gonna be back for round two. Kuroki hiding the trees, but Puppy sniffs him out, finds him there with the stun. They will take that Kuroki, the finger finishing off the Tumaman. And now we can he get himself out of life? Looks like he will, so is Puppy. Oh! Oh! Holding on to it there. And Kazi loves that. <laughs> Lads, come on, this is a bit romantic. Get a room, come on. Get a room, guys. Get a room. Don't do it in the bushes. 13 for 7, though, Secret picking off two kills. And uh, I, Liquid, they do get the tower, but it is a situation where Liquid are just staying around for too long, and Secret are there to jump on. I think Liquid are just feeling the pressure a bit. They, they probably don't want to go ultra late against the potential for a Doom to get very farmed, a Spectre on top of that. Obviously, Wii's Wind Ranger has been very strong so far, landing a lot of clutch shackles. It's a very scary prospect when you have to go late against these types of heroes when you know you can lose your base extremely fast. And they kind of have a lot of spread damage on the side of Liquid. I, of course, with Alacrity and, and Exhort Invoker, you're going to have some decent single target as well. But I feel like Zigra might have a, a slight edge if the game goes too far. The Timberman, of course, just working towards his Yasha. Elsewhere, any more big items being worked towards? We'll look at Kuroki's uh, got a bug for the moment. And uh, Fata working towards the Agonim's point which they're done. But I mean, if you're liquid now at this point, I, uh, you pretty much still have to continue to focus on just fighting as a five man and pushing down these lanes. I think they wanted to accomplish a little bit more than they did with the Aegis, but yeah, they, I think they just want to continually pressure. When you have uh, early Atos and you're going for the Atos into Agonim's build, you constantly want to be pressuring because these are all mid-game centric items. The secret with the smoke from the sidelines. All waltz back online. They don't have a finger. That's the only one they're lacking. They do have Envy's horn. Puppy with the wrap around here. Now the jump of mind control. He gets the roar out first onto Puppy. They'll bring him down low, but not quite low enough. Puppy finally taking this enemy. Oh, misery! With the wall of vacuum. The stun from Fire Eye Die. They've lost three. They're going to lose four as Fire goes down again. We with a triple kill. Now Envy chasing Jarek, the last remaining survivor here on the side of Liquid. But he's going to go down as well. Ultra kill for Weeha. And again, the combo from Secret hits hard. Man, I don't know who I want to give MVP to this game, like Misery, 
Pi, we they've all been playing phenomenal Dota. Those kind of combos, when you get hit by them and you don't have BKB and they don't have a mech completed, the amount of damage that you take in a short amount of time is just way too much to recover from. They had vision of Puppy coming out because they had the Hawk, so when the smoke broke, they just tried to drop all their spells on him and take him down, but he's just so tanky. You get the mech used on him by Misery, and then after that, you've already kind of expended your one real big lockdown because they don't have duel yet on a Legion Commander. And at that point, you've already kind of lost the fight once Doom comes out, so... It's really rough for Liquid to take the engagements if they still have the vision advantage and can't make it work for them. We are now, of course, with a blink. Something else that's going to allow him to hit these big shackles. Eight, one and five on this Wim Ranger. As you said, the MVP decision is going to be a hard one at this point with the performances we're seeing from some of these players. And of course, it's going to be even harder. If Liquid are able to get themselves back on top with a big team fight, it's going to be quite something. And at the moment, it's, it's neither team really making mistakes. It's just each fight, Secret seem to have the stronger combo. They need, need to make sure that the Roar target dies. That's like the biggest issue that they're running into. And a lot of that, like I was saying earlier, is attributed to just... The single target damage needs to come from the Invoker. So if Gyro drops Call Down and he uses Flak, sure, you're going to deal a good amount of spread DPS, but it's all about killing that hero in the stun duration to make sure that things like Doom don't go off, or maybe you kill like the Darkseer, or you, you know you kill Wii. A high priority target would be very good to be able to kill in that duration, because then we don't have to worry about wall, we don't have to worry about a two hero shackle, or potentially Focus Fire just ripping through our core. Because as far as the Gyrocopter versus Wind Ranger matchup goes, typically Wind Ranger has the advantage for a very long time just because Gyro doesn't have any way of dealing with Windrun. And also Focus Fire is one of the highest potential single target damage abilities in the game. So, you know, here we go, Puppy. Oh, Puppy's eyes on to Kuroji. So lead in with the horn, and here we go with Infernal Play. Continue to chase MV, joining Puppy as well. They're looking for Kuro, and they're gonna find it here. The heal, not enough. Another kill here for Secret. Top lane mind control is trying to get a bit of a push on here with the Necro units for Misery. He's just going to clear up the gold here and say thank you very much. Try and get the Necro units out of there. Some of the liquid still hanging around on the top lane. Envy making a beeline for them. And they will TP out. And let's talk about looking at Kuroki as, as pointed out there by Scans or Statsman. Going for no points in Jewel at the moment by level 8. I think he would probably skill it at 9, but I kind of have to ask if, is it really worth it to not get it? Because the worst case scenario is you have a 4 second disable, and you might give a hero damage. If you just duel and it's not, you know, not an appropriate time. But you have Sunstrike, you have Cooldown, you have Snowball save as well. Like, you have so many ways for your team to protect you during that duel that I think that it is definitely not optimal to at least forego, well, you know, one point and to press the attack. Obviously, overwhelming odds is really nice, but I think in this scenario, having the extra disable, like, what if he was able to duel Puppy before the roar duration wore off and they kill him before Doom comes out? You know, what that fight might have gone differently for them. You, you can't really say for sure, but I can say that not having duel at this point in the game is definitely hurting them. Let's see what the next big play is going to be. I mean, in terms of secret, do you feel that they need to start moving over to Liquid's side of the map, or can they just sit back, continue to farm Envy up, and wait for Liquid to come to them, as, as Liquid are feeling more of the pressure this game? I think draft? they can play however they want. Yeah. That's the... When I said that Liquid's lineup was safer, I just felt like their lanes were more stable, and they had the opportunity to take control of the game with their picks a lot earlier than what Seeker could do. But the problem is, they're getting outplayed in the team fights, so every single time they lose an engagement and Secret have a little bit better of a late-game team, it puts more pressure on them to make the next fight more successful, and then, you know, we need to start worrying about Roche because it's going to be up really soon. we got to get some kind of control away from Secret. And we jump in, it's Shackle, more spirit to the Master, Fada getting caught down here. Got the cooldown to try and disrupt the fight, Puppy's moving in onto Mind Strider, drops the Doom onto Beastmaster. Now Liquid trying to turn around, but the Greaves, they've been popped, Pilot out with the finger onto Fada. Now, oh, the vacuum and the Shackle onto Fada, they've found three! Jerex trying to snowball himself out of there, but Pilot dies there with the Hex. It's going to be a four hero down on Liquid, only Matumba Man surviving. They do lose Puppy, but again, secret. They seem to be killing four heroes at minimum every fight. That's the one thing about their lineup too, is they're so good at chasing. Like you have Blink Darks here, you have Blink Wind Ranger, and then you're gonna eventually have Blink on the Lion on top of that with a Haunt. If you start losing heroes, you need to try to TP away 
when other spells are on cooldown that obviously can stop you from getting out, but it just seems to be a little bit too much right now for Liquid because their team, by nature, is really good in fights, but it's very bad at retreating. Like, they don't have any escape mechanisms whatsoever, so as soon as Seeker get a little bit and they say, okay, we're winning this fight, they can just go all in. And with this fight, they open up the opportunity for Roshan. This puts Liquid in a very, very tough spot. However, they have very good high ground defense. Gyrocopter is great. You can throw call down on the ramp, you can take team fights that way. Sunstrike is going to be used there, but uh, obviously Roche still going the way of Secret. I think uh, Misery is building into Pipe, which is going to make it even harder for Liquid to take the engagements, as if it already hasn't been a struggle from the last couple of uh, fights that we have seen. And Radiance now on Envy. I think, as you said, a lot of eyes are going to be on the Timberman when it comes to that high ground defense. He's been keeping a very level head that you can see on the net worth. He's only just behind Misery's darks here. And considering how the fights are going, in fact, with his 22 to 10 for Secret, it just shows how smartly Mr. Man plays even when the pressure's turned up. He's able to keep farming, keep going at the same rate as the, uh, the enemy carry. And now with 2.1k on top of the SMY, there's still definitely big fight potential for Liquid if they can find just the right scenarios. But every time it's Secret getting the jumps in, we're seeing the lockdown with the power of the boom range of the Lion just destroying what Liquid can do as a team in these 5v5 engagements. I think the two biggest factors in this game are, obviously Misery has been hitting huge back walls. What is he, like four heroes two times at least? That pretty much just destroys you in a fight when your mech carrier didn't have mech completed. And heck, even to this point, it's 26 minutes in and Kuro doesn't have his mech done. This is so unbelievably late in comparison to what the Darkseer was able to accomplish. And I also feel like when you're playing against Secret's lineup and they have a mech carrier that early and you don't, it just makes it incredibly difficult to get any kill. Because who's been the focus target most of the fights for Liquid? They've been going for Puppy. And Puppy has Scorched Earth. He's obviously had a wand for quite some time. He's building tank, he has the drums, and he also has Guardian Greaves now to back him up and soon a pipe on top of that. The damage output from Liquid when it's all spread damage from the gyro just isn't enough to turn the, the tides of the fight in their favor. Of course, quite an early purchase here for Envy, but 26 minutes and he's, he is going to pick up the gem for his team. I guess this is just Secret wanting to maintain control of the map and, and really just starve Liquid up, which is... That's the issue for them, as we've we said at the moment, but Timmer Man's still being able to find farm out on the lanes. But it's going to be much scarier for him to go out if Secret can limit the vision game that Liquid's got going. Well, it's not... It's not unwinnable for Liquid. They definitely have some ways of coming back, but I think a lot of it's going to be on the back of landing a nice roar, making sure that Fata lands this combo on the disabled target. Because unlike Liquid, Secret don't really have any saving mechanisms outside of Guardian Greaves. So if you land a roar, you land the Sun Strike, you duel, you just throw everything at one hero, hope to take it down. That needs to be the way that a fight starts for Liquid. If you don't start off 4v5, I think they're going to be hard pressed to take a, a fight at all. And as you said, with the gem, it's going to get even harder because all these aggressive wards that you know we've been seeing coming out, especially the one in the bottom lane, that's a great ward. It's going to fade soon. And so is the one middle. We though. Hey, okay, mind control with the setup for the Invis on Weha. That is a big kill. If he can get himself out, but no, of course, Puffy comes in counts with the TP. They'll punish the Beastmaster. But maybe, I'd say that's worth it there for the, for the side of Liquid, oh, if they I could guess, get Weeha just like that. Absolutely <laughs> worth. Look at the difference in gold and experience exchange. 700 gold for the Invoker, just for throwing out a Sun Strike. I think, you know, we'll take that. I'll take that. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying, is that's what should be happening in all the fights. Every single fight should be a roar into a Sun Strike, into, you know, a call down if need be. And then that hero dies. If Liquid don't meet that criteria in a 5 versus 5 situation against oh, a team with pie. a Darks here, yeah, he, he wanted the gold, but he, wanted he couldn't quite get it. But if they can do that, then they can win a fight for sure, even as far behind as it seems to be that they are. There are opportunities for them to win. Oh, yeah, as you can say, like, just looking at the net worth graph, it's only a 2k lead for yeah. Secret, which just goes to show how well Liquid are keeping up the farm game. It's just the way that the game has been played out, and the fights Secret have been playing extremely well, and their team just carries gold a bit better than Liquid during the late game. So that's why, looking at the score, it seems a little bit overwhelming. But it's just because Secret are playing so damn well in the fights. We, he's gonna make his way up top. There is uh, Matumba Manjaro and the Kuroki Legion uh -oh. in the neighborhood. We ha oh! Look at this setup there. Clean kill onto Matumba Man. Kuroki will go for the TP and does escape. They're going uh, oh, for Jerex, perhaps? Uh, let's chase it down. He has got a snowball there for eight seconds. Does have a shards. 
And V, how much is he willing to commit? He's got He's the back of his team. Yeah, Misery's there with the vacuum. These vacuums catching the heroes of liquid just on the tip every time. Absolutely no mercy here from the boys on secret. 25 to 11. With 30 seconds off the map for both Jerex and the Timber Man, they'll go for a push. And we'll see how much they can get out of this. Well, they should at the very least be able to get the tower. Maybe they go bottom afterwards. Because 20 seconds isn't really enough time to do much damage to the tier 3. They might rotate, they might fake back, but Roshan is not on the table for another 4 minutes. So it looks like they're going to try to make uh, Mind Control go back to base here. And Mind Control with 3k gold at this point. I mean, bots, Blink, what's he thinking about? I think Blink is kind of too good to pass up. The higher threats in the team fight, as the game kind of stretches out, obviously Wee does an insane amount of damage. We saw how fast he killed Matumba Man with the help of Envy earlier when they landed that shackle. So I think he's a great target, and there's no way you're catching him unless you have Blink. I think that item is just too good to pass up, but he seems to be contemplating choices here. Bots are another common choice that we've been seeing out of Beastmasters so far this tournament. And then I think it was Bulldog who goes like bot blink dagger with the Necro 3 and then directly into Refresher, like foregoing AC, not getting the Vlads or anything like that. I think that could be a, a possible option here for Mind Control. Oh, Bada now picking up uh, the point booster, so I guess trying to work towards that Octary on top of his Axe. He's still got quite a way to go. But I mean, if Liquid can kind of hold on to the game as they have been and keep this pace, there's certainly going to be the opportunity for it to get to the point where they do get those items out. Just the problem is, of course, Secret, they're going to be able to keep farming at the same rate. They've got more map control, they're finding more objectives. You can see on the bottom lane now, Secret, ready to try and take another tier 2. Liquid up at the top. I wonder if they're going to be able to try and force back Secret if they want to try and go all the way in on this. I do think that Liquid push a tiny bit faster. Like, if they get to tier 3s, Secret are definitely going to have to go back. No, looks like, yeah, they're standing strong, Liquid. Oh, BKB? Ooh. I don't think we've seen that before. I was, I, especially not this early on on a Beastmaster build. I suppose it's one of those things where you just want to make sure that you're alive after the Roar's cast. <laughs> They were just uh, seeing there just the power of Invoker's army. They just yeah. left it on the tower, and as you said, that's what they need to do. The damage with the Forge Spirits and the Necro units, that's tier three is just melting, even when Secret's there trying to defend. So this is something that Secret have got to be careful of. It's still anyone's game. Even with the 14 kill advantage, Pata! Oh, this is why they're still playing the Wim Ranger. Now Envy trying to move in for more. Mind Control turns around, realizes he should do that. At the same time, they've also lost Jarex and Highlight Eye. It's quick to catch him out. Nice BKB. Is not going to save him this Girl. time? It's godlike MV. Matuma Man looking for Supply Light. Dice for like He's walking in as well. Box the mech, but the tower shot from Wea takes him down. Matuma Man was able to kill Pylai Dai, but he's the only one left alive on his team. 29 to 12. Again, another series of events that leads Secret to finding a huge amount of kills in return for just losing one. And now here comes the push from Secret themselves. Bottom lane onto the tier 3. The damage. Dear Lord. And with the Mantra on the Spectre, and we up with his focus fire. They're going to make short work here at the ranks, and oh, okay. All right, came onto the Tumor Man, getting dragged back in an Envy. Just chasing the Tumor back to the base, that was of course his buyback on Kuroki. The secret, they'll finish off the bottom racks here, and Liquid, there's no way of stopping that one. You know, the crazy thing about this game, on top of the fact that Secret, they have had some phenomenal engagements, mostly on the back of Weehaw's Wind Ranger. But Liquid managed to keep it this close in a game where almost every single engagement that we saw, they lost. Like, how is the game this close when they're losing every single team thing. fight? It's actually crazy to think about how stable Liquid have been playing, even though the engagements haven't been going their way. I can't even imagine the, the state of the game if they managed to get like one or two things going in a, an actual engagement. That's good to the man. Got on his way out here. So he's got a demon edge. So now starting to kick a bit of damage out on the gyrocopter. Yeah, the MKB will be huge. It means that he can actually focus Wii during a team fight, since he already has BKB available. If they throw out a roar onto him, regardless of whether or not that wind run is popped or not, Matuma Man should be able to take him down. And that's a really big power spike for Liquid as well. So even though Secret have been kind of dominating for the majority of the game in terms of fighting. These big item pickups coming in from Matuma Man and eventually, you know, Fata, he's getting higher level, more points into Wex, also makes the team fights a lot better for him because you'll have more control. Alacrity's gonna be better, Tornado EMP you can start using as well. It's still a long way to go before Secret can secure this game. In secret, just at the moment, 
seeing if they could catch anyone on the on the top of the map, but not the case. Hoppy's gonna grab himself a smoke, so we'll see if they are ready to try and go for another movement very shortly. Roshan is back and available. So we will see if either side decides to head towards there. And it is of course the, the third one. There will be cheese up for grabs. And I mean if Secret could get that, they could be in a very good position to try and push up. I mean, given the their position right now, they are not going to be scouted by anything. They did sentry before they smoked up. Liquid should anticipate this, though. They know that Roshan's going to be up soon. Yeah, they're circling around the pit. Oh. Oh, the smoke on smoke. See if anyone's just got in fact the horn, scouting it out. Straight away, the back The horn, the gentleman's my controller, the bell's jumped on. Oh, Secret just ripping through Liquid there, Envy. The perfect time to horn, they'll finish off the Tumba Man as well. That horn there may have just sealed the deal here for this game. Oh man. That is probably the single best way to initiate when you know the enemy team is smoked. It is all, we know exactly where they are, our Wind Ranger blinks in, there's no time to react. It was double blank initiation with a shackle into a back wall. And as soon as that comes out, the shackle lands. I think they put it under the Beastmaster. Oh. You have no control, Pi. Uh, he's looking for Pi. Pi just teasing the Invoker here. We'll go down to the Black Cannon shots of a Zimmer Mana now. Liquid, they're going to try and formulate defense. Envy just running straight for Farda. He'll take down the Invoker. Now getting himself out. There's going to be a call down connecting the slow. will reach him. Farda jumps forward. Definitely glass onto two. Eyes will lay down on Death the Snowball. Cancel the TV of Puppy. So look for Envy. They'll take down the Spectre. Now they'll turn towards the Doom as well. And they will find it. Liquid holding the base. They lose top though. Well, we TP's out time. And as you said, the damage already done on the top lane, but Liquid keep themselves in the game here. Uh, at what cost is really the question there. It was a buyback from the Invoker. They walk away with some experience and some gold from that, but they can't be satisfied. They need to make sure they can secure Road Shannon. With that push and the smoke, they should be able to do just that. There's a double damage bottom rune. Should be quite easy for them to secure. And I don't think that Wii has any intention of trying to contest this. He's just going to chill, make sure that he's not going to get picked off, wait for the rest of his team to respawn. Even with the Aegis, it's still going to be an uphill battle for Liquid. But I believe, let's see, how close is the team demand to MKB? Oh, he's still quite a bit away. I think if he had MKB with the Aegis, there would be a, a pretty good shot that they could take a real fight. But without that item, the Wind Ranger is going to be a gigantic problem for them. I mean, is this getting to the point where you look at the Demon Edge and say, guys, we're going to need a Rapier, or against Secret's lineup, is that just not the play? I mean, Gyro is a fantastic Rapier carrier, possibly the best in the game, up there with like Medusa, for example, but I don't know if it's good against Wind Ranger, that's the problem. Like, it doesn't matter how hard you hit if you can't hit the hero at all, because <laughs> you just have a 100% miss chance. It would kill the rest of the team very quickly, there's no doubt about that. He might go the route just because he has Aegis, but I don't know if it's necessarily game winning when he can die so easily to Wii at this point. And you also have to worry about Doom. Puppy managed to get himself a Blink Dagger after the engagement that we ended up seeing mid. So there's even more initiation power on the side of Secret. I really feel like the Wind Ranger and the Dark Seer have been the two biggest problems for Liquid this entire game. And they have not been able to address Misery or we in the least. Like, between the two of them, they've died twice, and both of them are the Wind Ranger. And this guy's been, like, blinking aggressively as well, so... Oh, Liquid. Around the mid, and uh, Envy's gonna scout this out. Puppeting, jumping forward. He'll get the three mounts to Roki, and now Envy. And then it's the illusion, and now with the confusion on to the Mammoth. The Mammoth will pop the BKB in retreat. Kuroki, he's not gonna be able to get himself out of this one. Envy and Puppy sandwiching him in there. At the same time, they did manage to find the kill onto Mind Control in the river. And that's two euros down. Mind Control does have a buyback available. Uh, it will be Kuroki off the map for 40 seconds. Looks like Secret though, don't see that to be a, a big enough window to do too much at the moment. I'll see if they do group up and go, but it looks like they're just kind of putting things on a back burner for now. Now there's no real reason to go too hard here. You know you're fighting into two lives in the gyrocopter. No reason putting yourself at risk when you know that all three of your lanes are pushed. Like, look at Liquid's freaking vision right now. They can't do anything. They're sitting in their base. They can pretty much sit on the higher ground of the ramp and farm creep waves as they come in. That is the only option that they really have. And I'm fairly certain they used, like, two smokes back to back. So, like, they smoked, got caught by Secret, died, and then smoked again to go for Roshan. So they probably don't have any other way of starting a team fight than waiting for Secret to come to them. And Secret know that. So all they have to do is constrict the movement of Liquid, and they're just getting farther ahead. 
It's going to be very interesting when we're down just with this money. You know? I'm telling you, he's sending that courier out to the secret shop. He's got 3.6k. Oh, it's, it's probably going to be rape. He's doing it. Yeah. He I mean, is it, is it. The, it is the game winning item. But it's just such a hard game for a gyro. Oh my. And there's even a Scotty on Envy now. Oh boy. This is all gonna in be all so tough. Even with the rapier, this is gonna be tough. <laughs> there we have it. Oh, the crowd love it. The crowd love it. Last time though, we saw rapiers picked up against Secret. And we got a little bit angry and did end up taking them away from our tour. We'll see if that's gonna be the same case against Matumba Man. And look, this base just lead is straight in. He doesn't need his team. The team they is have like no time. Arms. That's the thing. They know the Aegis is going to be gone soon. So, so they, 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 they have to start a fight. If Liquid do this, this could be an absolutely huge play. Oh, there's even a DD top. They need to like scout that somehow. That would be amazing for them. <laughs> this rapier. Is it going to be the game winning item here for Liquid? There's actually only two buybacks on Secret. They, they could do it. Yeah, I mean, with only this two buybacks, this could actually work, but it's going to be so difficult. And she's got to be very high here for Liquid. They can't make any mistakes here. With this high ground advance, that's going to be the fortification. Simba Man just going in, chipping away at this tier 3. It's a secret. Can't work out the best way to jump. Shaman won't quite latch here. Now Envy leading for the home of Simba Man. He's going to get finger pointed off. He popped the BKB before he dies. I think this could be it for Liquid. That's going to be my control falling as they try their best from the Tumor Man used the BKB before the Aegis and that's Rapier on the deck. GG, well played is called Liquid. They tried their best with the tools that they had at the end, but Secret, this game and this tournament really just stepping it up, playing back at the level that we remember Secret for and 41 to 16. What a solid performance, and I tell you what, for the viewers at home, good luck choosing an MVP out of that one. It's definitely, for me, between Misery and Wii. Those guys both played completely insane games. I, I would probably give it to Wii if Misery had died at least one time, but the guy had a flawless game. He didn't die. He hit multiple vac walls on four heroes, or at least three or more. I, I don't even know what to say. Like, he just played a, a phenomenal game. And sometimes you can say you got outdrafted. Sometimes you can say you had bad decision making. But really, for me, this game just boiled down to Secret's execution in the fights and how they engaged was just insane. So well played. Absolutely crazy stuff. And of course, game two will be around the corner. We'll see if Liquid can step it back up or if Secret are going to continue to play at this form that they're bringing to this land. For the time being, we'll send you back over to the pan.